Hello friends and welcome to Art with Miss Dom. That's me. Today we're going to be talking about color. So I have right here a color wheel. So let's take a look at that color wheel. Let me get it up here so you can see it. Do you see any shapes on the color wheel? If you were thinking circles and triangles, you're right. The colors are circle shapes. And then the primary colors make a triangle. So the primary colors are yellow, blue, and red. We also have another triangle. Can you see it? It makes a dotted line. The colors that you see with the dotted line are called secondary colors. So the secondary colors are orange, green, and purple or violet. Now, the secondary colors can be made by mixing the primary colors. So if I mix yellow and red, I get orange. If I mix yellow and blue, I get green. And if I mix red and blue, I get that purple or violet color. So you got a workbook and in the workbook is the picture of the color wheel. So I'd like you to take that out. If you need to pause the video, you can do that. Get out your color wheel. You're also going to need some crayons in those primary and secondary colors. And if you have it, get out your paint set. If you don't have a paint set, that's okay. You can just watch. And I'm going to put my color wheel that's on the workbook onto my clipboard here. So that's gonna cover up some of my color wheel. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing, let's move that up just a touch, is first of all, I'm gonna take my crayons and over here, R-E-D, that spells red. I'm gonna color the top of that little pie slice red. Okay, over here it says violet. Now you'll notice that this wheel and this wheel are not in the same order and that's okay. As long as the colors are in the right place. Okay, so for example violet is always going to be in between blue and red. Okay, so it's over here, but it's still in between the blue and the red. So violet, which is, starts with a V, V-I-O-L-E-T, that's violet. Now I'm gonna color in over here. Now, if you don't have paint, you can color in the whole pie slice. But I'm gonna try doing a little painting in here. So I'm just doing the edge so I know what color goes where. All right, and then down here, B-L-U-E, that's blue. Oops, almost did the wrong color. Ooh. Make sure I have the blue crayon. And blue goes right there. And then in between blue and yellow, this one's gonna be yellow, is gonna be green. So G-R-E-E-N, it's sort of upside down. And I'm going to color that in with my green crayon. Okay. And then I already told you this is yellow. So let's color that in with yellow. 
Y E L L O W spells yellow. And we have one color left. Do you know what color it is? It's the same color as a fruit. It also has the same name. It's orange. This one, O R A N G E, spells orange. And I'm going to color in this section with orange. All right, so now I've got a little bit of water. And if you have paint and you want to paint along with me, something on my finger now. Uh, you can go ahead and get your water if you need to pause again. Go ahead and do that. And I'm just dipping my paintbrush in the water. And I'm very gently going to start with yellow. I'm going to start right here. The reason I'm starting with yellow is my water is still nice and clean. And yellow is the lightest color. So if you're able to, it's always a good idea to start with yellow while your water is clean before things get murky. I'm going to paint this area in with my yellow. Now, I am dipping my paintbrush in the water every time I reload up my brush. So I'm going to take my paintbrush, and when you see me going down like this, I'm getting water. And when I get the paint from my paint set, my paint set's a little dirty, uh, but I always am gentle when I'm using watercolors. So you want to use a really gentle touch and, and you know, make sure you're not pressing down really hard and scrubbing in this paint. It's not that kind of paint. Watercolor paint has to be mixed with water and you have to use a gentle touch. So the next color I'm going to do is blue. And I'm going to fill in this little pi square here with my blue. Pi slice, not a square. Sort of a almost a triangle shape, except it's curved on one side. We'll call it a pie slice. Okay, so I've got yellow and I've got blue. And now, if you want to try a little color magic and color mixing, uh, what we can do is instead of just using the green paint, I'm going to take a little bit of yellow and put it on the lid of my paint set. I'm just taking it and kind of dropping it onto the lid. Then I'm taking a little bit of blue and I'm mixing it with that yellow that I just put on the lid. And so this is a green that I mixed. So if you want to try mixing, you can use the lid. Let me just show you what I just did. Okay, you can see that green um, that I mixed rather than just using the green paint. I'm going to do the same thing with the orange. I'm going to take a little yellow and put it on the lid of my paint set. And I'm going to mix a little bit of red into that yellow. So I mixed and made this orange. Mm -hmm. Now I've mixed two colors and then red I'm just going to use straight from the set. So you can't really mix and make the red and the yellow and the blue. Those primary colors are what you start with. All right, the last mix I'm going to do is the violet. Do you know what two colors I need to mix together? If you said red and violet, I'm sorry, red <laughs> and blue, you're right. So red and blue mixed together gives you violet, also known as purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and find another spot on my lid. And I'm rinsing off my brush when I change colors to mix so I don't get my paint set too messy. And there I've made my violet or purple. So now you've made 
create your very own color wheel. If you did not have paint, you can try blending crayons. Let me just show you what I mean. I can take over here, next to the green, a little bit of blue, and then color over it with some yellow. And you can try blending with your crayons. Or, like I said at the beginning, you can just color in that whole section, just so you know how, how the color wheel goes. So you can see this green is a little bit different from this green. Oh, it's a little tiny bit. So you, you can have different varieties of green, or blue, or purple, or red, or orange, or yellow. And as a matter of fact, when you look at this color wheel, let me just take this off of here. When you look at this color wheel, you can see it doesn't just have the primary and the secondary colors. You'll notice some smaller circles, and those smaller circles are what we call intermediate or tertiary colors. So those are the colors when you mix a primary with a secondary. So when you mix yellow and orange, you get a color called yellow-orange. When you mix yellow and green, you get a color called yellow green. If you want to try experimenting and try and get those colors with your mixing, you can, but you don't have to. <laughs> I'd also like for you to watch the, the color video that you see on the right by a music group called Scratch Garden, and they're going to review what I just talked about, color mixing and colors. And so that's a fun thing to see. And I hope you enjoyed creating your very own color wheel. I'll see you next time. Bye.